Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I've got something just a little different today. This is a uh, this is an actual vintage World War II K bar Marine fighting knife. All right, uh, this this particular knife goes back way back here in my memories. Anyway, um, my dad used to tell me that he had gotten this knife from his uncle back after he came back from World War II and that it was downstairs in our home at that time in a, a storage box along with all the other storage that we had down there packed up in the, in our basement and uh, that sat there for years and I, I always wanted to see this knife because he, he told me about it you know I don't know how many times he was always telling me about the story of this particular knife well, anyway, we finally found it after decades of sitting in there in that box. And when I did, when we did, it was like you know, finding a buried treasure type thing. What, what got me kind of bummed out though was that it it was quite pitted and rusted when when we found it, which it still is to a degree. Uh, I was maybe eight or nine at the time. I remember putting it on a wire wheel and cleaning up a little bit, and that was about as much of my ability at that time to, to fix up a knife. And I'm I will be I will be restoring this a little bit as time goes on. I'll be trying to get that pitting out and stuff. But this is, as you can see, not your average K bar uh, fighting knife. <clears throat> Excuse me. That handle right there. Okay, I've only seen a couple of these before, and I've never actually seen one on a K-Bar. I've seen some on smaller knives. This is some kind of an acrylic uh, Lexan of some kind that they used back then. It's actually, considering it's, you know, whatever, 70, 75, 80 years old, uh, it's in incredibly good shape. And again, I've, I've just never seen it. So... Uh, what I'm saying here is, is anybody out there that knows a little bit about this, uh, this type of handle on these knives, uh, obviously there's more out there. I don't know if this was custom made. There must have been, there must have been something. It looks like it's factory. Okay, it looks like it's a factory done, not a, not a, um, not an after shop type work on. Okay, now that brings me to the other point too, is that, that right there. Is a 50 caliber, caliber caliber bullet. Okay, so for any of you snowflakes out there, don't go into full panic. That's not a real bullet as far as being loaded. It's uh, it's just the bullet part. Okay, there's, there's probably no snowflakes watching this video anyway, so that takes care of that. Anyhow, I don't know how. It doesn't seem as if they've. Yeah, I know, I'm getting to that age. I've looked at it quite a bit, and whoever did it knew what the hell they were doing, I'll tell you that. Uh, that was drilled perfectly right in the center. Uh, it doesn't look like it was soldered on or any kind of any kind of heat was applied to it. It may have been press fit in. But uh, from what my dad used to tell me, okay, was that the intent there, of course, was to use that end and that bullet, which is plenty hard enough, that's full metal jacket, steel core, um, as a as a secondary secondary uh, fighting technique. Okay, now there's a lot of knives out there with with diamond uh, shapes on the end. I've made a few of those too, and that's for well for skull cracking is what it's it's intended for. And back then, during World War II, I guess they did whatever they needed to do. So, and again, I and I've never seen this done on on any kind of K bar before has uh, USMC on it, which is not unusual, and it says K-Bar Oneonta, New York. No, I'm sorry, Olean, New York. Okay, I guess I need better glasses. Anyhow, uh, considering that it is it is fairly pitted, that, that edge isn't too bad, and I can certainly fix it. It looks like it's been, looks like it's been sharpened a little bit, Quite a bit actually. There's a little, there's a little dip right there. Anyway, this is a very cool knife. If you think about it, I mean, where has this knife been? Now I know for a fact that it has seen 
combat because my my father's uncle that gave it to him was in World War II. He served, I believe, in the, the Pacific Theater. So whatever stories this knife could tell, I wish it could talk. It just uh, sometimes you you hold something that's been around much longer than you have. All right, so I'm I'm a little old, but not that old. And uh, there's a reverence there. There's a, there's just some kind of a feeling that you uh, you really do wish you could tell the stories that it's seen and, and done. And, but anyway, uh, once again, if there's anybody out there that knows a little bit more about these knives with, with this kind of a handle, I'll show that a little closer. And I did do a Google search on there, and I believe it's, I believe it's Lexan or uh, something comparable to that. Um, but anyway, if there's anybody out there who knows a little bit about more, more about this than I do, I would really appreciate uh, commenting below on, my, on this video. All right, now here's the, the sheath. Actually, it's not in that bad a shape, considering that it was stuck in a box for all those years. Uh, typical K-bar knife. It's got the uh, the rivets on the on, on the edge there. This one had I forget what you call that uh, that lacing on the leather, and the uh, this is what well, was for lashing to your leg when you were holding it, so it wouldn't fall back and forth. But that was cut off. Okay, snap is still good, still working good. Leather is actually in very good shape. It can be cleaned up. So I will restore this to some degree, as I as I say as time goes on, but not too much because I don't want to take away the um, that vintage look. So, anyhow, thank you again for watching. Thank you for all the activity on my site here. If you would, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel here. It's, uh, it's helping us out quite a bit. We're, we've pushed past 500 here now for oh, about a week, I think. And so we're, we're on the road here. So anyway, thank you again. I got a lot more, uh, a lot more knives, a lot more videos to come. And, uh, and please comment below if you would, if anybody knows anything about this, this style knife. So stay tuned and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks again.